Hey everybody, it's Rich Norton here with RMS Sales Training and Inspiration. Love doing the shows, very excited, super happy, pumped up, fired up, excited and ignited and really, really thrilled to be able to share all this information that we have here on RMS Sales Training and Inspiration. I was writing a Monday morning motivation this past week and I was talking about what it takes in order to have true success. And the bottom line is it takes a true commitment. Many people are looking for the secret formula. Most people choose the path of least resistance. That was written in that Monday morning motivation. Many people say, yeah, I want to be successful, but I'm not really willing to put forth the effort in order to have that success. Or, I knew there was a catch. You mean you actually have to go and work for it? I knew there had to be a catch to it. Yes, there is a catch. Here's the secret formula. If you really want success, not only in our industry, but just in life in general, it's going to take a 100% commitment and beyond that. There's a reason why they called it the 1% club or the 10% club. In order to get into the 1% club, you have to do what 99% of people are not willing to do. That's how you get into the 1% club. How do you make it in our industry? How do you become successful in our industry? It's going to take a full commitment. I'm amazed at some of the people that I meet that we come that come on board with RMS and I'll talk to some of the trainers and I'll say, man, this person sounded great. They're wonderful on the phone. They said all the right things. Man, they're super sharp. They're going to make it happen. They're going to do great things. And then they kind of fizzle out. And then you wonder why they fizzle out. And the bottom line is they never made a commitment. I'll call them up or reach out to them or we don't hear from them. And you've heard me talk about this a lot of times where I say that in order to have success, you have to reach out to people. The successful people are the ones that make the calls. We know that they're working. When they're not making the calls, guess what? Especially when they're new, they are not working. They are not making the commitment. There's your secret formula. How do we know this? How do I know that? Because I've been around. I know that if you're in the field, if you're out there working, you are going to have a lot of questions. So keep that in mind. The key to success, and I really want you to get this down, is to make that 110% commitment. In other words, when you get up in the morning, you are making that commitment to rise early. You are making that commitment to leave your house at 7 o'clock in the morning or earlier. I left my house at 6.45 this morning. While many people are still sleeping, while many people are thinking about getting up, while many people still have their pajamas on, I'm out there in the field. I was in my first presentation at 8 a.m. this morning. I had a follow-up. While many people are thinking about getting out there, I was writing my first merchant. Not bragging, but that's what it takes. That's the commitment that you have to make. And you're saying, I'm willing to drive one hour, two hours, two and a half hours, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. I'm making a commitment to leave my house early and I'm making a commitment to stay out there and put that 10% effort into it. What that means, as soon as I'm ready to stop for the day and go back home, I'm gonna hit 10 more businesses. If you do that five days a week, that's 50 more opportunities. You do that throughout the month, you've got well over a couple hundred more opportunities. That's the difference between mediocrity and success. So do you want success? I hope the answer is yes. Are you ready to make the commitment? I hope that answer is yes. Because I see other people that are not as talented 
as some of these people that I talked about earlier, but here's the difference. They're making that commitment. They're out there. They're making it happen, and they know that if they do that, good things are going to happen. They're going to work hard. They're going to keep improving. They're never giving up. They're giving a 110% commitment. Those are the people that are the winners in life and the winners with Retriever Merchant Solutions. So, question, are you ready to make that commitment? I went off on a little tangent for you there. I hope that sinks in because today we are going to be talking about things, this is called the stop show, and I know I've done a couple other shows about that before, but in order to have success, you have to get into the right mindset. In order to get into the right mindset, there's things that you have to stop doing. Okay, this is kind of like a repeat. There'll be a couple other things you may have heard about before. I've added a couple things, and we will keep talking about it until you really get it down. So make that commitment. Make the decision. Let's take a short break, and I'll be right back. Hey, everybody. You have Rich Norton here from Retriever Merchant Solutions. Do you consider yourself a winner? Do you consider yourself a champion? Do you consider yourself the best? Are you that type of person that likes to strive for the best? You like being number one, you're competitive, you like being in a positive environment where you can go as far as you want to go? Well, that's what we have at Retriever Merchant Solutions, an opportunity where you can be big as you want to be. You can grow as high as you want to go, you can go as far as you want to go, that's the opportunity that we have here with RMS. So if you feel that you're that type of person, you like meeting people, you're not afraid of rejection, you understand that the key to success is having a right attitude and going to work and never looking back and never giving up and making a commitment to do this 1000%, that's going to give you success. So if I just describe you I want you to give me a call. Rich Norton, 904-434-4635. You're gonna see the email right at the bottom of the screen. We will teach you this business. You may say, well, I've never done that type of business. We will teach you, we will train you, we will give you all the necessary tools on what it takes to become successful, and then we can celebrate your success and congratulate you for being a winner with RMS. I look forward to that. Give me a call. All right, we are here. We are excited. We are here to make it happen. And our goal is to help you get to a higher level. I'm glad you're ready to make the commitment. Because when you make the commitment, there's things that you need to stop doing. And I'm talking about just in life in general. Our goal is to have our mind, body, and soul all lined up to have success in every phase. So when you're talking about the body, for example, if you want to have success, you have to stop missing the workout. All right, now I know there are days, there are plenty of days where you don't want to work out, and I have plenty of those days myself. So whatever your exercise routine is, or the lack of exercise routine that you have, it's time to make a commitment in that area. It's time to say, I'm going to stop missing my exercises. Because here's what ends up happening. You miss a day, not a big deal. Two days go by. Eh, three days go by. A week goes by. Now the norm is you don't work out anymore. It's a slow fade. And that applies to our spirit as well. For example, we say, I'm going to go to church, I'm going to start going to Bible study, I'm going to start doing all these things, I'm going to read, I'm going to meditate, do positive things, I'm going to get that incorporated into my life, that's who I am, that's who I want to be, now we're talking about the soul, the spirit, right? And all of a sudden, we start missing those things. A day goes by, a week goes by, we miss the group study that we do, we miss going to church, we miss listening to that music, we miss uh, reading, we miss our quiet time, and all of a sudden, 
We're wondering why things are going wrong. We can't skip that. It's important that we keep that. You know, the mind, the body, and the soul have to be lined up. And it's the same thing with our mind. It could have been before, well, I used to get up in the morning and I used to listen to all this motivational stuff, the ones that Rich Norton sends out. I used to listen to those. I used to read all those motivations that that crazy guy would send to me. I would watch all those shows, man. It would fire me up and pump me up, and I stopped doing that because I figured I had it all figured out. I don't need that anymore. I got it all figured out. And then we wonder why our production goes down also. So we have to stop mind, body, and soul. Let's talk about the body. We have to stop missing the exercise routine. Make that part of your life no matter what. You can miss a day, schedule one day off, but then go right back to it the next day. Once you miss two days in a row and then three days in a row, that's where the trouble starts happening. If you're going to take a day off, take that day off, but schedule and stick to that. The same thing with our spirit, our spiritual life. It's important that you have that lined up. Quit missing the things that are helping you in your spiritual life. And then for your mind very important, especially in our business, it's important that you keep yourself motivated, you keep yourself inspired. Why do I send these things out all the time? I do it myself. Every video that I send out, and I pretty much send them out seven days a week, is the video that I listen to when I'm going on my morning walk after 4 a.m. 15 minutes. When you listen to it, it inspires you. It motivates you. It gets you fired up. These shows that we're doing, sales training and inspiration, I am sharing years and years and years of success that I have had. And I'm saying to you, if I can do it, you can do it. All these people that are having success in our industry, if they can do it, guess what? You can do it as well. So we have to stop missing those things, missing the videos, missing reading books, missing the motivation, reading the motivational things. All those things line up very, very important. I just talked about other things that we need to stop. We need to stop negative self-talk. And I'm going to ask you this. When you get up in the morning, we all talk to ourselves in some form or another. What's the talk that you have? We can speak blessings or we can speak curses. And you really have to think about that. Sometimes we make jokes and we say, yeah, I'm a little bit overweight or I'm a little bit fat or I'm a little bit skinny. And we put ourselves down, right? Or I don't look as good as I used to. Or I'm old, I'm too young, I'm this. and. When you start doing things like that or talking that way, for example, you may say, yeah, I knew it wasn't going to work out. You know, nothing good ever happens to a guy like me. You're speaking curses upon yourself. So if you're doing that, it's time to stop that negative talk, that negative self-talk. You need to be your number one cheerleader. You need to be your number one fan. You need to get yourself fired up. When you look in that mirror and you look in the morning and you see yourself, you need to say, you are awesome. You are amazing. You're going to have a fantastic day. Today is your day. Great things are going to happen to you. I am blessed and I am highly favored. The Lord is going to bless me today with an abundance of blessings. I am going to have a fantastic day working in the field. And as you're doing that, because here's what ends up happening, the things you need to stop doing. You don't want to say, man, I hope I don't have a day like yesterday. That was a tough day. And then we start focusing on that. And then all of a sudden, we get out in the field, 
couple bad things happen. I knew I was going to have a day like yesterday. It's just not my week. You know, those guys are just lucky. Uh, I, I don't know. There's some dark cloud over me right now. When you speak that way, that's exactly what you're going to speak into existence. So please understand that. Speak blessings over yourself. Today's going to be an amazing day. Today's going to be an awesome day. I'm not going to talk any negative self-talk. Everything that comes out of my mouth is nothing but positive self-talk. So if you find yourself and you've been doing that, and right now I'm speaking to you and you're saying, wow, I didn't even realize that, and I've been doing that. I've been doing a lot of negative self-talk. I've got to get rid of that. So from here on in, stop the negative self-talk. Make the commitment, positive self-talk, always, no question about it. I wrote a couple other things down here. Stop caring about people that don't care about you. Ooh, that's a tough one. Now, I'm not saying that you should just dislike people, you should uh, not pay attention to people, but don't get so caught up in that. You know, sometimes you know, we want to be liked so much, and that's kind of a natural thing. I used to think that everybody was going to like me. Everybody was going to love me. I would hope that, but no matter who you are, no matter what you do, no matter all the great things you may do, there will be people, I promise you this, that will talk bad about you. Okay? You understand that? There will be people that will gossip about you. The higher level that you get in life, you're going to notice that people will try to bring you down. They might say, well, look at that so-and-so. You know, they think they're something. You know, look at them, making all that money. They think they're something great. People will start talking bad things about you. So no matter who you are, there will be people in life that really don't care about you and will talk negative about you. So quit allowing those people to bring you down or have control over your attitude. Because again, there will be people that will try to bring you down. You have the power to either allow that to happen or to disallow that to happen. You're in complete control over that. Please, please, please keep that in mind. There are people that want you to fail. Don't give them that wish. What you can do is you can pray for them. You don't want to get into a negative uh, confrontation with them. You know, I always say the best revenge is success, massive success. But pray for them. You know, and I don't mean, hey, Lord, go get them really bad. You know, hit them. You know, I hope they something happens to them. Lord, you could do. You know, you don't want to be like that. Lord, those people are going through a difficult time right now. You know what their lives are all about. Lord, I pray that you guide them, direct them, keep their path straight, watch over them, be with them, love them, and then when you see them, kill them with kindness, treat them with love treat them with respect. It doesn't mean that you have to hang around them all the time. All right? It doesn't mean that you have to be best buddies with them. But it doesn't mean that you have to be rude or disrespectful with them. But we don't get caught up in their lives and them trying to bring you down. So stop doing that behavior if that's where you have been. Okay? Another thing is stop selling yourself short. You are designed for greatness. God has an amazing plan for your life. And sometimes we sell ourselves short. We're all guilty of that. And we settle for less. Or we don't think that we're good enough. You know, that happens, right? Well, you know, that you know, that type of life is not for me. I, I'm you know, I was born here and I did this. I don't have enough education. That's where all that negative self talk comes in. Stop doing that. Stop selling yourself short. Build yourself up. You know, again, Jeremiah 29, 11. I know the plans that I have for you, says the Lord. This is the Lord talking, not Rich Norton. This is right in the Bible, Jeremiah 29, 11. I know the plans that I have for you, says the Lord. 
plans to prosper you, right? Prosper, not to harm you, plans to give you a hope and a future. I don't know about you, but to me, what a great promise that is. And if you grab hold of that and say, God's designed me to have a wonderful life. It doesn't mean that my life is going to be easy, all right, because there are obstacles, there are challenges, there are difficulties along the way. I know that. He's going to be with me step by step. That was a song that we did yesterday in church. Step by step, he lead me, and I will follow him all of my days. I will seek him in the morning. I will to learn to walk in his ways. Step by step, he'll lead me, and I'll follow him all of my days. What a great message. What a great prayer. And when you grab hold of that, and you understand that God wants the very best for you. So if God, the creator of everything, you know, the universe, the world, everything, wants the very best for you, why would you sell yourself short and think that I'm not good enough? Because you are God's creation. He created you in his own image, wanting the very best for you. He designed you with a purpose. There's something inside of you. He's gifted you, right? He's gifted you in so many different ways. There's something that you can easily do. How do you know what your gifts are? Steve Harvey talks about that. The things that you do the best without putting a lot of effort in. You know, some of you are gifted with a creative spirit. You know, some of you are good with your hands. Some of you are good, talented singers. Some of you are great musicians. Some of you are great readers. Some of you are motivators. Some of you are good in sales. There's so many gifts that God gives to different people. The question is, what are you doing with those gifts? that he's given to you. So if you've been doing that, stop selling yourself short. You have to say this, God, I know that you created me in your own image. God, I know that you have a wonderful plan for my life. Reveal that to me. And then as you're finding what your gifts are, write them all out. And then once you do that, write out some goals. What do I want to accomplish in life? What are my short-term goals? What do I want to do this month right now? What do I want to do in the next six months with this gift that I have? What do I want to do in the next year? And then we talk about this a lot. You write it right on top of a big, big notebook or on a big poster. Why? Why do I want to have success? And you write all that out. And once you've got that down, you make a plan. Because everybody has resolutions, but they don't follow through with them because they don't have a plan. And once you have that plan, you set your goal, you plan your work. Very simple, work your plan. That's all you have to do. Set a goal, plan your work, work your plan. It's kind of like, for example, there is a hockey game. They drop the puck and they're getting ready to shoot for that goal. They're in the seventh game of the Stanley Cup championship. They're ready to shoot. They look up and there's no goal. They stop. The other team does and start skating towards the other goal. There's no goal. Wow, we don't even need to play this game because there's no goals. How are we going to win without goals? Same thing in life. How are you going to win if you don't have any goals? So stop selling yourself short. Say this with me, I am designed for greatness. And you really are. We're going to take a short break. I'll cover a couple more things. This is awesome. Glad to share this with you. I will be right back. Hello everybody, Rich Norton here from RMS Sales Training and Inspiration. I want to thank you all for tuning into our shows. Most of our shows are recorded here live at Hands and Feet Foundation. 
which is a ministry that I serve in, and I'm very, very blessed to serve into this ministry. My wife and I come out here. She's out here every Thursday or Tuesday. She brings music out to everybody, and I come out usually with her on Saturdays, and we have church with everybody that comes out here. And we've been very fortunate, very blessed to come out here and serve in this ministry. This is a ministry that's near and dear to our hearts. We have a passion and we have a heart for the lost. We have a passion and a heart for people that are down and out. And the majority of the people that come here are homeless, uh, been through some very difficult times, whether it's bad choices on their own or whether it's just circumstances. We just love on them and we help them get off the streets and we help them get into rehab for some people that are wanting to get uh, clean. Uh, we send them to different places. So there's just wonderful things that are happening here at Hands and Feet Foundation. So if you'd like to learn more, you can go to handsandfeetfoundation.org. You can look them up on Facebook, Hands and Feet West Side, or you can come out and visit 7478 103rd Street, Jacksonville, Florida. If you'd like to come out and visit, or you'd like to give a donation, or you'd just like to come out and help serve, Come and join us. It'd be fantastic to see you. You'll see me in my shorts and my t-shirt and my guitar. I'm just having a great day. So we'd love for you to come out here as well. Thank you. All right. Very happy to share all this stuff. We just have a few minutes left. Each of you are designed for greatness. Stop selling yourself short. And as we just talked about, there are dreams inside of you. All right, I know you have dreams. Dreams, in order to turn them into goals, must have a plan because that's what goals are, dreams with a plan. So if you've been giving up on your dreams, it's time to stop that. That's another thing to stop. Stop giving up on your dreams. Stop giving up on your goals. If you found yourself not looking at your goals, you need to stop doing that. A lot of things that we need to stop doing. Look at them goals, that's what you're working for. That's what the plan is. That's what it's all about. Very, very, very important. And then the other thing is, we all have fears in life. We have to overcome them. So sometimes that fear that people have, whether it's the fear of failure, the fear of rejection, the fear of success even, is stopping people from having success. So, I'm going to say this. We all go through that. That's part of life. But it's time to make that commitment to do it anyway. And I'll say this. Stop being afraid and just do it. Let's just get blunt right now. Stop the fear, right? Stop being afraid. Make the commitment and just do it. If you're afraid, admit it. I'm afraid like a Rocky when they had that account encounter uh, the counter with the uh, with uh, his wife. And he goes, what is the problem? What is the problem? He goes, what would I tell you? I'm afraid. I'm afraid. And she said, so what? <laughs> so sometimes we just have to admit that. I'm afraid, but do it anyway. Stop being afraid. Make the commitment and just do it. So that's all part of success. A lot of great things that we talked about doing and not doing, stop doing, because that is the key and these are the keys in order to have success. So I hope these resonate with you today. It's my honor and my privilege and my blessing to be able to share this with you. And I'll say this, I don't have all the answers. I failed many times, will continue to fail many times, and I know what doesn't work, I know what does work. I do know, as I stated from the beginning with the show, if you make a commitment, you're going to have great success. So make that commitment, stop doing the things that are stopping you from having success and just go for it a hundred percent because we have today which is a beautiful gift from God and remember make that commitment and what you do with this day is your wonderful gift back to God. Make it a good one. I'll see you next time on RMS Sales Training and Inspiration.